Hi, uh, my name is Colin, um, <clears throat> and I don't like making videos usually, but figured I would give it a try. Um, so it is February, uh, mid-February 2017, and um, I find, I'm finding myself with a little bit of time before class, so I thought I would make a video. Um, <clears throat> I've been following a lot of guys who have have been planning for phalloplasty or are post-op phalloplasty, <clears throat> and that's been really important. Um, I got I got a I went to the Belgrade team, uh, Dr. Miroslav, and Belgrade Serbia over five years ago, and since then, and actually before then, I felt like I needed phalloplasty, um, but for a lot of reasons, especially financially, um, felt like that was unattainable. Um, I also paid for all of my surgeries through student loans, so I'm in a lot of, I have a lot of student loan debt, and that just wasn't something I was willing to do for phalloplasty. Um, so, um, through a lot of research and talking with other folks, I um, found out that there was a more likelihood that I could get um, phalloplasty covered if I moved to Portland, Oregon. Um, so I did that, and now I'm here, and I've been in grad school uh, for a little less than a year. Um, I'm almost done. I graduate in June. Um, and since moving here, I've actually had two consultations with Dr. Burley um, at OHSU. And um, <clears throat> the first time was great. It was just kind of like information gathering. Um, the second time I came in with um, some more serious questions um, and had a friend come with me and um, I did record the consultation, but I somehow lost it. I don't know. It may have been on an old phone of mine um, because I wanted to transcribe it and post it online for everyone. So unfortunately, I don't have that. Um, but Dr. Burley was great, um, answered all of my questions, took the time to listen to my concerns and my worries. Um, and acknowledged my friend in the room, um, which was really great and um, actually really meant a lot that he introduced himself and was curious about the person that I had with me too. Um, but I did, I was still scared and I think that um, phalloplasty is frightening to me. Um, it always has been. And then I think I've just been doing so much research and I get kind of stuck on the complications and things. And I, out of fear, I just kind of freeze up. Well, um, I scheduled a third consultation with Dr. Burley for March 7th. Um, I'm feeling as, as ready as I possibly could be um, before kind of moving along further in the process. Um, I am going to get an updated letter for uh, electrolysis so I can begin electrolysis. Um, I will probably need at least six months of that um, before surgery. Um, so I think I'm I think I'm moving in that direction for RFS RFF uh, phalloplasty, um, and thought I would start kind of tracking, kind of like sharing some dialogue with you guys. Um, I know how important it's been um, to find videos and uh, trans bucket and Yahoo groups and Facebook groups and uh, what's the other one Instagram. Um, so a lot of those outlets have been really helpful for me and I wanted to keep that, uh, momentum going by sharing my experience with you guys. Um, so hopefully, um, 
I'll be able to get into some type of habit um, routine of making videos uh, when important updates come come up. So my aim is to post another video after my consultation in March and share with you all um, where I'll be going from there. And yeah, so I look forward to updating you guys soon.